Okay. We're going to start with State of Alaska versus Arnold Demosky, 4GA 16-00013, criminal. Yes, sir. You're Arnold Demosky? Yes. Hearing on video, that's proceeding. Uh, we do have uh, Mr. Saturday preliminary hearing on this matter on March 23rd, 2016. You know what I'd like you to do, just in case you don't uh, retain Mr. Satterberg, I'd like the officer to hand you an application for a public defender. Um, that way, if you retain Mr. Satterberg, that's fine. Yeah. But that being said, Your Honor, I would, I would despite the, the exposure and the, and the press and everything else. Proposing as far as being on, on a, in a vehicle. Um, thank you for uh, both sides. Um, my determination here today has nothing to do with uh, how much press involvement is or is not involved in this case. Um, nothing's been proven to be beyond a reasonable doubt, but if these allegations, and I'm not even talking about the class B misdemeanors, if these allegations are proven to a jury, um, could amount to be an act of terrorism, quite frankly. If the, if the state had asked for $500,000, I probably would have granted it. Um, but I am not the prosecutor. I will honor the state's request, though, for a $50,000 cash performance bond and a court-approved third-party custodian. You know, the court has said that it's not uh, pandering to the press, and I'll accept your statement, but needless to say, I don't think it's an act of terrorism, nor do I think we should just blank it start imposing conditions. In this case, um, I don't believe he has a vehicle in town. I think we said no snow machines or four-wheelers that were restricted at this point. Probably the most senseless thing I've seen since Danny Lewis shot the pipeline. Um, the people who are running the Iditarod need to be confident that uh, this man will remain in jail while this race is going on. Um, I understand that you do need to set bail, but I would ask for $50,000, a third party custodian, and, uh, and uh, just a, a host of conditions that will keep him south of the Yukon River.